you guys are just gonna go. What's up, combat allies? OD Green, Desert Tan, bands or no bands? I'm Mark from SoCal Tactical Airsoft. Welcome to What's Your Loadout, Episode 7. Now if you hop on the internet, all you're going to see is videos of guys playing dress up just for their video. But we all know those guys aren't actually wearing that gear out to the field. So, what's your loadout is back so we can find out what real players think about the sport and why they run the gear they do. So, let's get to the answer to the question that we all have. What's your loadout? Uh, so I'll start with the gun. I got an LCT AK-74 with the OD Green furniture. Uh, inside, I've got a Gate Titan with Siege Tech 20 to 1 gears. Uh, I've corrected the angle of engagement and made sure everything's shimmed. Uh, I've also got it wired to Dean's for uh, better battery connection and um, just got the standard LCT mid caps. I got six of those. Um, right now it's kind of incomplete, but I'm hoping to make a militia loadout. So I've just got like a track suit for right now. But in terms of my vest, it's a uh, Russian Smirsh. I ordered it from a dealer on Facebook. I got it direct from Russia, so hoping to see that, you know, works out really well for me. My loadout is a beanie, black dye, normal gloves, G and GM4 plate carrier. Uh, so my loadout is a VFC uh, HK416. It has uh, SHS 13 to 1 gears, a BTC Spectre, um, and some other bits of goodness in there. Um, I have Cry G3, AWARC 1 combat pants, Cry JPC, Samapo combat shirt. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's what works for me. And I like impression loadouts with a little bit of a weird twist. Um, so yeah, that's kind of an overview of my loadout. Uh, well, I'm using my friend's Apex M4. That's about it, I usually just wear whatever. All right, so my loadout is uh, pretty simple. It's a Togemuri 416D. Uh, next gen uh, recoil shock system, a huge fan of it. I recently just got it pretty bone stock right now. Just got a T1 on there with the side protector and uh, really big fan of it. It's a really awesome performer. Set this guy down here. And then uh, Face Pro, trusty die mask. Uh, one of the old die cam ones. I don't think they make these anymore, but uh, kind of blends in the environment a little bit better than one of like wider black masks and the fancy lens on there. Uh, checks my face, keeps my pearly whites still in my mouth. So it's good. Uh, loadout. Uh, BDUs, nothing fancy, it's my boring airsoft day, so shorts, regular shirt, fun day. Uh, plate carry is a shellback banshee with the blue force gear 10 speed pouches, hold my NGRS mags. And then on my belt, it's a dragon spine. I removed the stock pouches because they're not really good. And I got the Rheological Customs Kydex holster for my TM1911. Really fun gun too, gas powered. Uh, on the other side, I got the HGI drop leg. Uh, Things their basic leg rig, nothing too crazy about it, but has tacos for three pistol mag pouches and two rifle pouches. On the other side, I got some of the STAC Kiwi pouches. And then, <laughs> on the other side, I got the STAC Kiwi pouches. These are for single stack magazines, so 1911 mags fit really well. And then, on the other side of that, I got the uh, Stacker uh, HGI taco pouch. And on the back, I have the HGI magnet dump pouch. So, really simple. Uh, well, real simple loadout works for me, and uh, yeah, it's mainly high speed, low drag is the best I can be, even though I'm a fat guy. So, gotta try to cut down weight all I can. Um, my loadouts pretty much is uh, an M9 as a secondary. Uh, we also got uh, a Wombat Umbrella Armory DSG 20 to once, um, pretty much fully built, um, shooting about 40 RPS and 400 FPS. Uh, I currently run 0.3s as a heavy to you know, accuracy. I have more magazines, but right now I'm running three, uh, two high caps and uh, one mid cap. I don't know why. Um, and that's pretty much it. I have a basic build. I just like to be light, quick and fast, efficient. Uh, I'm running, I was going to run a JPC, but I figured go a little bit different and have cummerbunds instead. So I'm running just a Lancer Tactical chest rig here. Well, plate carrier, not chest rig. And uh, I only, I see people carrying freaking double stack, but you know, I'm skinny, so I like to keep my loadout kind of skinny too, only weighing 120 pounds. So I keep single stack in the front, few on the side here. Uh, got my Deagle right here, just in case the 1911 doesn't cut it, you know, 45. And uh, a shield just to have some fun. And the Nerf Axe. So we have a Hawaiian shirt, dad jeans. Uh, we've got the Condor LCS battle belt. Um, I've got knockoff G-Code Scorpions. Um, we have a WeTech M4 with uh, HPA tap to the magazines, and my secondary is a WeTech P226. 
so uh, basically to start out, um, I kind of, I guess I'll go with my top side. So I got a, uh, a Diamask i4. So I first started out with a uh, uh, goggles and mesh, which was okay for a while, but then it kind of started to fog up, and in one of the games it completely fell off. So I decided to switch to this. Uh, it's really great because it covers the whole face and it uh, doesn't really fog up ever. I also usually have a helmet on top, which I usually strap my GoPro to. Uh, moving on down next, I'll go to my primary. This was a uh, Lancer Tactical uh, PDW, which I started out with. Uh, it's the electric version. Uh, it broke kind of within the first six games, so I decided to save up and I installed a Polar Star into it. I have a, uh, what is it, Polar Star Jack, and I custom put that in. I have a Pro and Hop Up right there. Basically, I have an angled grip on it just because I like to kind of switch between either the Magwell or on there. Uh, I have a kind of fake EOTech sight on top with a little protector and this I can take off completely and switch out to another loadout if I want. Up here, since it's a skeleton stock, I put on this right here and this holds uh, battery and ECU, FCU. And then I got my patches right here. Uh, for this, I forgot the name of this, but basically this is what I run. I have uh, two mag pouches right here with double stacked and then two for my pistol. Uh, here I have for dead rag, which is nice and easy and it folds up real quick. Uh, also, best thing ever, 10 bucks, and it's like the best thing you'll ever spend is a dump pouch. It's easy, quick, you can just drop it in there and you're done, cinch it up. Uh, for pants, I have these. I also forgot what these were, but they're really great because they have a lot of space. And uh, also, if you want to play in the rain, they're water resistant, so it just runs straight off. Uh, for these, I got my tactical boots. Uh, these are nice because I used to run with my regular shoes, but you know, you, it's really slippery out there with all the BBs, so it's a lot better to have better traction and good ankle support. So that's kind of my loadout. Uh, yeah. My loadout is a Condor battle belt. I got the G code, mag pouches. I run the WeTech gas blowback M4, and I have the WeTech M9. GNG Combat Machine M4, but it's basically brought back from the dead. Uh, the motor's been tuned up so it would actually work properly and been balanced out with a metal railing. I got Tipman uh, tip sights as well as a angle grip. And for like overall loadout, I'm a lightweight so I carry a minimum, like minimum four, but the maximum I would usually carry seven or eight magazines. Um, as you can see, one elbow, elbow, pouch, and then one. And then one knee, uh, knee cover run because my left knee is bad. Uh, Reebok boots, comfortable, buy them. It will help you out in the long run if you have really bad ankle problems. Um, tan pants, black, uh, black or gray shirt is what I often wear with Lancer Tactical goggles and sniper cap. So right now I'm rocking a MP9 for kind of a secondary uh, M9 for my sidearm and then uh, L96 sniper. All right, well, my loadout is uh, specifically, I would have to say, a dev groove style loadout, you know, SEAL Team 6. Um, I've got a VFC 416, got a little bit of upgrades in it, couldn't tell you what, but I mean, it shoots pretty much the same velocity you could get at all fields, highest velocity. Um, I've got a, can't remember who makes it, 6094. These are cries. Um, if you guys are into spending a bunch of money, luckily I got these for free. I have some buddies in the special warfare community. Um, KJ Glock 23 or 19, whatever. Uh, Safari Land 6004. This belt is actually a company I work for called Tactical Gear Lines. Shout out to them as well. Um, let's see, mechanics wear gloves, all kinds of stuff like that. So, and then FMA parts like the FMA PEC. I don't know who makes the EOTech, but you know, all that good stuff. Basically, got a little operator loadout, just Hawaiian shirt, basic tan pants. Then you got your chest rig, not chest rig, <laughs> your uh, plate carrier actually. And um, what I have right here is the, uh, the HG Scorpion Evo BET edition, one with the big uh, suppressor on it. Uh, basically, best gun out of the box. But as a, as a tech, I gotta do some upgrades on it, so do a little bit of compression, fly hop, and a uh, type more barrel. But you don't really need to do much on it. Um, I got an Invesky body with uh, version 2 gearbox, SHS 1301 gears. I got a 22 TPA SHS motor. Uh, just upgraded, I got a new Falcor defense rail with a Prometheus 
I guess you could say multicolored outer barrel. Got a new muzzle cap on it. Um, run 11.1 Lion batteries, the new Titan brand, and shoots about 30 RPS, 320 FPS. Uh, I got a uh, Lancer Tactical M4. It's uh, I got an 11.1 uh, LiPo battery. It's uh, taped up ghetto here, but uh, you know it works. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, P mags right here with uh, some clips so I can pull it out easily. Got a Condor tactical vest, and uh, everything else is pretty normal. Uh, right now, I just have this AK-74. It's an AEG. Not the best one, but it works, and I like it. I'm wearing a Russian Partisan uh, Gorka. It's really snug right now, especially for the winter, uh, for the spring. So it's nice and warm right now. Um, and the standard ZSHM3 helmet. I, I might be butchering that, but it's a it's a Russian paratrooper helmet that they use. So right here, I have a. Uh, a Crytek uh, upgraded by, uh, inspired by Umbrella Armory. Did all the upgrading by myself. Um, it has a Titan MOSFET, um, a lot of PTS uh, equipment, and yeah, I just like it. It's really geared for, for long range. My loadout is basically a completely new VFC Avalon. Just besides, I got it from a Evike Boneyard, threw on a PTS grip and a PTS stock and then found this cheap foregrip off of airsoft mega store you know just decide to have fun with it go with the double foregrip and then i use uh around seven banff mags and then that's about it for my loadout besides just the whole trying to go for the nato look shotgun that's it uh i have a wolverine hpa uh 1911 cold pistol co2 and four mags, got a grenade, and bow playing walkie talkie. So I have a GMP M4, I have a BTC Spectre MOSFET in it, and I have SHS 13 to 1 gears and some other things in there. That's the main gist of it. I have a Cry AC field pants and a Cry AC combat shirt, and then a Repro JPC. And then I have um, a fast helmet with Comtax and Oakley. Uh, M frame 2.0 glasses. Um, right now I'm running with an APS Guardian M4. Um, I have a PKSA Sense 4 scope, regular bipod, angled grip, and a SR1 stock. Uh, I do run with a sidearm, but I do not have that on me today. I run with a 1911 uh, black and silver. Best advice for a brand new airsofter, let's see. I'm 26 now, I've been playing since I was 10. So the biggest thing is integrity. Airsoft is a game of honor. Always call your hits. You know, like, I understand it's a game and you'll get into it and you know, you'll be running around with your buddies rocking, yeah dude, yeah, and you think you'll get hit and you'll kind of brush it off. Dude, just, you know, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You know, you gotta respawn or you're out for the game, you know, just call your hits. It's not, it's just a game. You know, we all come out here, we all get a little amped up, get a little serious sometimes, but just call your hits. Best advice for a first time is just have fun. It's not about trying to get as much kills the first time or the best you can do, just have fun, man. First time airsofter, don't be afraid to get shot. Uh, it's gonna happen, don't complain about it when it does. Uh, other than that, take your time, enjoy it, and don't take it too seriously. You really don't have to spend a lot of money to have fun in the game. You can really, you know, have fun with almost anything. You don't have to put a lot of money into it. My best advice, honestly, first time, just try and go with friends. It, there's nothing makes Airsoft better than just going with a group of people you like to hang out with and you just enjoy being around. And honestly, I advise just renting. Like, there's no reason for the first time going Airsofting because you don't know if you like the sport completely or not. It's better just to go rent and try it out, honestly. Just play for the fun of it, man. Don't look at what others are doing or what others have. Start the sport slowly, man. Don't just look at other people's guns and think I have to go buy a thousand dollar gun in order to play. No, you can rent one, play, see if you like the sport and then progress slowly. Best advice, uh, if you have friends that already have gear, uh, I would say definitely check out their gear and learn what you like before you buy and save up on stuff that'll work. Uh, secondly, uh, just like have fun because especially when you're playing, new airsofters are kind of like a little bit more afraid and timid, but
but if you can just muster up the courage to even just run out for the first few rounds and like not even have anything just to kind of get used to it the rest of your day you'll be a lot more confident and you'll have a lot more fun so that's kind of my suggestions best advice just do it to be honest like if you ever had thoughts of doing it just do it it doesn't hurt to try i mean there's a lot of things out in the world to do, so might as well make Airsoft one of them and uh, have fun too, because if you're not having fun, what's the point? Um, get something cheap before you start playing. It's going to be pretty expensive to get into this hobby, and you don't know if you're going to like it yet. Honestly, have fun and call your hits. Uh, you don't need to spend $600 on a loadout. Just come out here, see if you like it, have fun, buy things as you go. Um, basically, uh, start out small, you know, see if you like the sport. Um, basically, for getting started, try to find the airsoft rifle within like between 120 to $200. And it's very important to get eye protection and mass protection, especially if you're under 18, you have to get both of them at the same time. But yeah, mainly that eye protection, and then secondly, gloves. You know, getting shot in the figure is a uh, pretty gnarly experience and I got hit a few times with that gloves yeah, that's why I have them now. Have fun pretty much, stay calm, don't don't try to go out there trying to run up and try to do what some of the pros are doing. Don't be afraid to do that if you really want to though. Just enjoy yourself out there. Uh, have fun, you know, like be honest. No one likes a cheater, you know. But yeah, just have fun, you know. It's a lot of fun when you're being honest and enjoying yourself. Don't be intimidated by people. Do not be intimidated to get the gear. It can be a little expensive, but just don't be intimidated. And it's really fun, people are really nice, and it's really fun to be here. I'd say take it easy. Um, you don't have to get all the best gear all at once. Um, just just have fun with it, you know, be honest, uh, call your hits. Um, it's okay if, if uh, you're not doing so well in the beginning, just, just keep trying and just, just have fun with it. Don't be afraid to get hit. Run at the enemy, and if it doesn't work, run at them from a different angle. Either go with an M4 or an AK, something not relatively uh, too high priced. But in my opinion, if you're, if you, like for a first time airsofter, you need information. So my best advice is to go on Reddit and like ask questions because there's a lot of people who want to help you on there, and they'll give you the best information to find starter guns that are kind of hidden gems that kind of perform outside of their price range. So that's, in my opinion, the best thing you can do. As cliche as it sounds, I would have to say, start out with an M4 variant and uh, don't try to be that one guy like rushing in. Keep your head down because you will definitely get hit no matter what. Don't spend too much money. Like if you don't like it, then um, it's better you waste a little money than more than like your whole savings on it. Definitely rush. You know, try to get in the game, don't hold back, and call your hits. Oh, dude, I grew up with first-person shooters like Call of Duty and Rainbow Six, games like PUBG. Dude, this is just like the real-life version of it. <laughs> Honestly, I just like, I like guns. You can't play war games with real guns, so I'm out here playing war games with fake guns, and it's super fun. Why do I airsoft? Um, because I don't have a girlfriend. I airsoft because it gets me outside. Uh, I'm a huge fan of like Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, Tom Clancy. So I, I enjoy shooters during the week. I can't really come outside and do it all that much. I'm not too big a fan of indoors. So I'll come to outdoor fields on the weekends and kind of do that. So it keeps me in relatively decent shape and uh, it allows me to meet new people and it's pretty much what I've been doing for like the last 10 years now. Why do I airsoft? Well, let's see, I'm a giant 10 year old. Um, I, you know, it's, it's a great workout for those who don't really like working out. I mean, cardio, who really enjoys cardio aside from the few marathon runners that there are. Um, I do it because I, I like to have a come out, I like to come out and have a good time. You know, I shoot real guns as well. It's obviously a bit more expensive than airsoft, but, um, you know, it's, it's just a good, it's a good team sport. You know, it's just like the same guys who play paintball, airsoft is in the same vein as that. I think airsoft is a lot better than paintball personally. But you know, you get your buddies out. You know, I, I have had a bunch of my friends who are like, oh dude, that looks so sick. I want to come out and play, but I don't want to look stupid. And I'm like, dude, I've got enough guns and gear to, you know, equip an entire platoon. So here, you can dress up like SEAL Team Six like me and we can go out and play and have a good time. So I play for the camaraderie. Cause honestly, we come out, I'm here with a bunch of my best friends. We have a great time. 
I don't know, my friends got me into it and I just kept going. And it was just fun to just kind of come out and just be idiots. <laughs> All right, airsoft, just to get away and escape. It's like, it's like a whole new world out there. Like, once you have your mask on, you're ready. Honestly, I'm just bored. And plus, I have, I have a long, I have a long week of work. Of con Cause I work in construction and it's just an, it's just a pain in the ass working with my coworkers. But every, whenever I get the opportunity, I just come out and play because hell, it's fun. Who else doesn't want to have fun? I have, it's something that I just like to do. It's a fun little hobby. I actually sometimes film it myself. I like editing the videos, trying to make a little action film out of it. It's fun to go with my friends and play together. It's good exercise. It's good team building skills. Uh, Airsoft because uh, I kind of, I love the action and the, uh, the exercise. Also, I have a ton of great guys from my high school, and I'm the club president, so basically we all get together uh, all on Saturdays and have fun together, so it's a good team bonding experience. I actually started Airsoft in, uh, you know, back then, you know, I thought it was fun, you know, playing video games, and, you know, I was like, I wonder, it's like, what would it be like actually, you know, doing this? So this is basically the closest thing to it. So I started, uh, you know, playing, you know, in our, you know, big, uh, big old yard. And then uh, a few years later, you know, get, getting a job and all that, you know, went out to the field and uh, started playing. Um, I started airsofting because my friends do it and I just like just hang out with them a lot. And it, it's a lot of fun, you know, coming out here with the buddies and stuff, you know, it's just, it's a good experience all around, you know. Um, it's just the fun of it, man. It's, you have a lot of adrenaline playing and for some people that, they like to load out the gear and everything. It's it's a very strategic game. That's why I play. Um, to be honest, I've lived with law enforcement and military all my life, so I think it's just kind of cool to be like them and have fun. And plus, it's uh, just something to get outside and do so I don't sit inside and play video games all day. Gives me something to do with my free time. Uh, I'd rather not sit at home all every weekend, so come out here, play with toy guns, dress up, that kind of thing. It's fun, fun hobby. Good thing to do. I mean, yeah, that's about it. I get bored at home and, you know, just, it's fun. Like to all your gamers out there that play FPSs, um, it's kind of like that, but more intense. It's the real deal without actually dying. Uh, I, I airsoft for, with just my friends. Nothing makes airsoft better, like I said, than friends because honestly, just teamwork makes it way better. It's a fun, exercise on the weekend. <laughs>